Hey everybody, do you know what time it is? It is time for some more Let's Play Paper Mario. In the last part, we somehow froze this lava. I don't quite remember how that happened. I mean, I don't think water was involved at all, so... I don't know, Nintendo logic. And in this part, we are going to advance further into Bowser's castle. Yes, let's see. Um, did we get the key for this? No, we did not. So, now that the lava is frozen, we can get a whole bunch of stuff. Like, for example, this. And I don't have room for it. Of course I don't. Um... I'm thinking I'm just gonna throw it. Yeah, I figure I can just spam Star Storm if I ever need to do a lot of damage. But, um, yeah, so what's up with you guys? I actually just downloaded, or, well, I started using Google Chrome. I already installed it, but I never really used it. And, um, I just started using it about 10 minutes ago, and I must say I already like it a lot better than Internet Explorer. Um, there are a few things I like and a few things I dislike, but, um, come in here after you melt the lava, or not melt the lava, um, freeze the lava to get the castle key, but, as I was saying, yeah, there are a few things I like and a few things I don't like, um, all of these are very specific, so I don't really feel I could go into, uh, what do you would call it, detail, but, overall, I think I like Google Chrome better, so I'm going the exact opposite direction, aren't I? <laughs> yes, yeah, so... And also, what's been up with me is I've been working a lot, and I mean a lot, on my video stuff, like my next Let's Play, that kind of stuff. Um, this is because this next weekend, um, I'll be very busy with church stuff. So, yeah, basically, Friday through Monday, I'll be very busy this weekend. So, yeah, that's why I'm trying to get a lot of recording done, get a lot of editing done, so that I don't, so that I don't have to do it when family is here, you know. And I'm also... And like always, I'm working on my next Let's Play, which is turning out to be pretty good. I'll use the next castle key here. And oh, darkness. It's closing in. It's surrounding us. I guess we could use a miracle. And wait a minute. 81 star pieces! I forgot to spend them, didn't I? Okay, I think at the beginning of the next part, I'll go back and do that. Wow, of all the things to forget to do. I remember to get all the star pieces, I just forget to actually use them. <sighs> and for some reason, I'm reminded of Minecraft in this room because of, um, Glowstone. Uh, me and my friends have been playing around in the netherworld late recently. But here we have a new enemy, the Bony Beetle. And every turn, they'll alternate between having no spikes and having spikes. If they don't have spikes, then you can jump on them, and they'll get flipped over, and then the defense will go away. And when they do have spikes out, they do a little bit more damage, so... Um, I guess I'll aim for this one next. Yeah, I think if they're down and then they get spikes, they get flipped back up. Not quite sure how that works. Um, well, we'll have a chance to see because this won't kill him. Alright, let's see what happens. Um, oh, so he just gets up. So I guess if they go one turn without without being flipped over, they spawn. Or they grow spikes, so. Yeah, the graphics should be able to help you out there. Hmm. Today, I have Pepsi with me. <laughs> My special co-host, Pepsi. Alright, um, this is kind of a puzzle. If I remember correctly, you go the other way. <laughs> and it does pain me, but I'm thinking we're gonna need Paracarry. Oh, I hate Paracarry so much. Seriously, after you spend that much time with someone delivering letters and, and they never stop introducing themselves, you tend to you, you tend to resent them a little bit, but um, I'm guessing it's the uppermost one that's correct, but um, I'm OCD, so I need to check all of them. Um... Oh, wait, is this the right one? Uh, of course it's not. Ah, and it's obviously... Wait, I, I think the uppermost one has an, has an item block or something. I'll have to go check that out. And of course, I jump on a spiky enemy. And upon killing those bony beetles, lol, 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 we got level up. So I'm thinking I'll go for FP because... I think that's... I, I think I'll only upgrade HP one more time if I really get the chance. But, um... Yeah, I'm thinking I'm lacking on FP. I want to be able to spam more. And there is a box up there I want it right now. Grown up here. Yeah, my voice is going dry already, and I've only been recording for 10 minutes. Wow, that was a really pointless trip, wasn't it? God, power blocks are nice at the beginning, but then they just kind of start to suck. <laughs> that reminds me for some reason. I have been playing Paper Mario 2, as I've been saying a lot, and I just finished Chapter 3, and I completely kicked the third boss's. Oh my god. It was hilarious because I kept charging, you know, and on the last turn, I did 60 damage in one turn with the fourth partner, the Yoshi Kid. So yeah, his little ground pound, it, it went like 20, 19, 18. <laughs> yeah, it was really funny. Oh god. Uh, oh god. Oh wait. 
Okay, if this is the right way, I'll be a happy panda, because that way I don't have to fight anything. Oh, of course it's not. Jeez, the Koopa Troll is, like, trolling. And I love how the one time that it has to, like, spin, it doesn't, and... I really want to see what's in that item box. Alright, let's see if I can ninja my way over there. Ah, oh, shist. Yeah, quick note, putting on Spike Shield is a very good idea. Because now that I think about it, about half of the enemies you fight here do have spikes, so we got a shooting star. Once again, I don't think I need it. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm thinking as long as I have healing items, I'll be able to kick some ass. So just like the last one, if I remember correctly, it's the middle one. Actually, now, now, now that I think about it, this puzzle repeats itself. It's the same exact thing twice in a row. That's kind of stupid. But we'll just switch. God, I think I'm playing Paper Mario 2, so that's why I pause every time I want to change partners. Yeah, there were, like, in my opinion, there were quite a few downgrades from Paper Mario 1 to Paper Mario 2. The most famous one being No Spin Dash. Oh, God, I really wish I had Spin Dash in Paper Mario 2. Like, in this game, you know, you can just be run around with your little Spin Dash, like, Whee! Oh my God, I'm Spin Dashing, it's so much fun! Yeah, exactly like that. There, yeah, that, that was an exact portrayal of what it would be like. But no, they were like, Oh, this Paper Mario 2 is the better one, so it shouldn't have anything cool like that. And my phone is ringing. Go away. Okay, that was the sound of the phone hitting my bed. I'm sure you didn't hear it. <sighs> okay. What's so, yeah, well, what was I rambling about? Oh yeah, Paper Mario 2. And then uh, another downgrade was that... Oh god, I completely forgot what the other one was. It had something, it had something to do with... Uh, whatever. And what?! How was this a dead end? Oh, I see, oh, I see what they did there. Ah, that's clever. I see what you did there. You're, you're, you're clever. You need to fall down here. And then if you want, you can go back up. Whee! Ah, oh, that was fun. <coughs> and so was that burp. Okay, now. Oh, jeez. Uh, okay. Wait, did I ever show the blue match Koopa? In case I didn't, I'll go and find him. Yeah, yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, ah, oh, good point of death. Alright, so these are blue match Koopas, in case I haven't already shown them. They have 11 HP, and if I remember correctly, they can do all the power-ups that the previous match Koopas can do. I'm not sure if that's right. Check the graphic. Yeah. So I'm thinking for this occasion, I will be cheap, and I will use Star Storm. Pikachu! Star Storm! Okay, no. <laughs> Going all voice cracky on you guys. And of course, none of them die. I, I, know. I, I knew that would happen. Alright, which one do I want to kill? You're blue. And another thing about the blue match Koopas, just like all the other match Koopas, if you leave them alone, like if there aren't any other enemies beside them, they will run away. So you may so you either want to kill them first or kill them last, depending if you want star points. And oh, that's what the blue match Koopas do. They heal. Ah, annoyance. Okay, um, I know this is really cheap, but I'm gonna go for that star storm, so rather than Ma making you guys watch the same thing over again, I'm just gonna cut ahead. Nice, I got 12 star points from that, actually. Uh, oh, that, was, that was, like, laggy there, jeez. Actually, I, I remember, like, back in Chapter 6, I was getting really bad lag in this game, wasn't I? And, okay, I could've sworn more I was supposed to stay at the, like, middle of the screen, but, um... Oh, jeez, if I remember correctly, this puzzle is... No, it's not even a puzzle. You just kinda push that to the left. And... The block obviously has the magic of blackness, which is also known as black magic, and it opens the door here. Blue, uh, you came back. You escaped from that underground jail, but there was no way you could escape. Grr, all of all the dirty tricks. Okay, just saying, if a door was evil enough to trap you inside a cage, it'd be evil enough to just stay ignorant and not open after completing its task. Ah, I'm being called bear back. All right, my parents. Um, but home KFC or KFC. So that's all for this episode. Sorry about its extreme shortness. Next time we will proceed further in the boss's castle, of course. Oh no! Well, first I'm gonna spend those 81 star pieces. But yeah, I'll talk to you guys later.